Namaste everyone. So in this video, we are gonna solve problem 5.4 again. So when I solved earlier version of this problem, there was some mistake and there were some doubts. So I have some screenshots of the comments that you guys commented on it. You are having some problem so let me the mostly you are the mostly you guys are confer uh, you guys are confusing in the limits so i will clear all of them so let me clarify let me write down what are the your doubts so this one is related to limits okay integration limit this is also limit and this one it is it is mentioned that for f a b y is dy by cap taken in positive direction and for c d taken in negative so i will tell you why so uh, this first part i will tell you and second part i am telling you here why it is an odd function so for odd function if you have f x then for odd function if you put minus x in place of x then it should be minus fx fine so if you have fz is equal to z then it is a odd function because if you put f of minus z it will be minus z and it will be of like f of minus z will be minus fz fine so your two out has been Solved. so this is again limit of integration and this is again limit so i will clarify your doubt so let's get started fine so what we have given in the problem we have given the magnetic field is kz x cap fine kz x cap and all the description that is given in the problem that is summarized in this in the form of figure and the current direction the current direction is counterclockwise so current direction is counter clockwise Current direction is counter clockwise. <coughs> so let me show you something. So, first of all, this is here i and dl both point in the same direction. You should know this. And when i is constant, when current is constant then the formula is this let's solve this problem now i am having let's say this is my i am taking one by one this is my wire uh, cd the current is in this direction so this is c d and this is our reference axis that is z cap fine so as we know that let me say f dc or cd it will not have that much impact like if you write f dc or f cd that is the same thing <coughs> so it does not specify any direction f dc or f cd it, it only specify that we are having wire cd or dc and the force on this will be f dc or f cd so f vector dc or cd whatever you write this will be equal to i and dl vector cross p vector <coughs> now i am considering a infinite symbol element length of dy 
fine and i am going from the z axis towards c okay why i am telling you that why where where like when why i considering in this direction and what are the reason that i am telling you that i am going from z axis to the c because that will decide our limit of integration that will decide our limit of integration so the whole problem that you guys were confusing in that only the problem is very easy if you use right hand rule you can guess the answer what will be the answer you can come to the answer if you only use right hand rule but for the sake of calculation for the sake of understanding mathematically that will be <coughs> our deciding factor for limit of integration so and as we know that the direction of current and the direction of dl vector is same now what is the dl vector magnitude that is i will be i and dl that will be dy i hope it is clear and the what is the direction that will be by minus by cap because the current direction is in the minus by cross b vector what is the b vector it is k z x cap now x y and z so y cross x it will be minus z and minus is already there so minus minus will be plus so i d by and let me write k and here z will be a y 2 So k a over two fine d by and the direction is as y cross x is z sorry y cross x is minus z minus is already there so minus uh, so it will be z cap now what will be the limit of integration that was the whole that was the whole problem what is the limit of integration you you guys were confused confused in it. so we are going from z axis to the c so we should see how much y like that y can vary from what point to what point so from d to c like we chose to go from origin to the c then it can vary from minus ay2 to ay2 minus ay2 a y two, so it will be i k a <coughs> over two multiplied by a z cap. So f d c vector is is equal to i k a square over two z cap. and simply if you find out only the magnitude and if you want to see the direction of force on cd wire then what will be what will be the simpler way what will be the simpler method you can use right hand rule using right hand rule using right hand rule you can get the same you can get the same you can get the same Fine. <clears throat> Now, why I took minus a y two a y two? You guys must be confusing that we are going like we. If we, let let's say if I wrote, I like if I wrote like C D. Let's say this is C D. Okay. Then you must be thinking that we are going in the current direction, so we should take limit from a y two to minus a y two. But let me tell you why this is so. Because we are. choosing z axis as a reference so we must see as we go from c like as we go from origin towards c then what is the like what is the range of y that will be minus ay2 to ay2 i have one example to clear this doubt this is this is the example in which i will establish that why we should take limit like we did let's say this is wire i am saying let's say this is again a b 
the P. So I have to find out the force force on force on A B and C D. I am not talking about A D or B C because they are very easy and that will not solve our like what why my aim is to my aim is to prove that my aim is to show you why i took that limit of integration so our purpose should be like our purpose will be to solve the force on a b and c d you can find out on a d and b c they are easy and also although a and a b and c d are also easy but we will for the sake of problem 5.4 we will see how to find out the force on a b and c d so magnetic field due to wire having current i1 let's say it is like it will be mu naught i over 2 pi r and what will be the direction it will be minus x cap if we are choosing the coordinate system like this x cap y cap and z cap so my coordinate system let's say i am choosing here so x cap y cap and z cap let me erase this one okay so it will be minus x cap in this region in this this region now so let me like let me say we know so this i know i is i1 i1 let me say it is v naught over r minus x cap and r let me say this is distance any distance okay <clears throat> now i have to find force on ab force on ab we know that f vector is integral of light uh, there is a i2 current in this so i2 dl vector cross b vector so what is dl vector in the direction so i again i will choose let's say this is the r at the r distance i am choosing dr infinite symbol element fine of wire a b dr infinite symbol element of wire a b so i will write i2 and dr what will be the direction it is by cap because the current in is in the bi direction positive bi direction cross b b is b naught over r <coughs> minus x cap now what will be the y cross x so x y z and y cross x minus z so minus is already there it will be z so i2 dr over r and b naught will be here and the direction is z cap let me check whether it is right or not y cross x y cross x will be minus z and minus is already there so it will be z cap now what will be the limit of integration so in this case if you see that we are going from origin to the point b so r can vary from y to y plus b y to y plus b if we solve this integration then i2 b naught ln y plus b over y and the direction is z cap this will be f a b vector till now there is no problem now let me take another ink so now i am finding f c d if i am finding f c d vector then again i2 integration of d dl vector cross b vector and what is the dl here so i2 dl because dl again i have to choose from here r and i am choosing d dr infinite symbol element of cd wire okay so dr it is the magnitude what is the direction the current direction current is minus by minus by cap cross b naught over r minus x cap 
fine so it will be i2 and b0 will be outside because it is a constant dr over r and by cross x will be minus z and minus minus they will be plus so it will be minus z cap <coughs> now what is the choice of limit of integration so let me tell you again we are going from this z axis to the point c while we consider infinite similar element but the current is going from c to d so if you are taking let's say the initial is by plus p to by now what is the problem here now let's find out i to v naught ln by over by plus b minus z cap it is equal to i to v naught ln by plus z sorry by plus b over by z cap because we just uh, uh, we just uh, take an inverse so ln 1 upon x is equal to minus ln x you know this property now see this is totally wrong why because the force on of the force on a b must be opposite of force on c d magnitude although is same but the direction should be opposite but in this case we are getting the direction is same when you use right hand rule when you are using right hand rule the direction should be opposite because the only thing that is changing current magnetic field is in the same direction throughout the problem although in problem 5.4 magnetic field is changing as per the position of the wire but here not so the thing that we should do is let me erase this so i want what i want to establish here i want to establish that as we choose infinite symbol element in the direction from the reference point that is axis or origin we should choose the limit of integration in that way so the limit of integration should be the limit of integration should be by 2 by plus b so that the final answer will be i2 v naught ln by plus b over by minus z cap this is the final this should be the, the this is the final answer effect so f c d vector and f a b vector the sum of it it is zero and that is what right hand rule is saying so to now i think i hope it is clear why we should what is the way to choose the limit of integration now coming to the problem 5.4 now if you find f da so if you find f da vector now let me again i have to consider a wire this is the wire and uh, let me change the color okay this is r by sorry this is r by negative by a plus by by cap fine <coughs> so in this case what we have to do if we are choosing let's say i am choosing if this is z in the direction of z fine z cap the original z let me make it more clear so that you not so this is the original z cap fine so i am considering i am considering the dz infinite symbol element at the distance z fine from the y axis so it will be i and what are the what is the dl direction dl direction because current is going in the minus z so it is dz and minus z cap cross what is v v is k z k z x cap k z x cap if i am right this should be the case yeah z x cap okay so i k z 
टी जेड एंड एक्स बाई जेड सो इट इज अ जेड क्रॉस एक्स जेड क्रॉस एक्स सो जेड क्रॉस एक्स इज सिंपली बाय एंड माइनस इज देयर माइनस बाय कैप जेड क्रॉस एक्स इज बाय सो जेड क्रॉस एक्स इज बाय again so think of it what will be the answer so someone having doubt why it is a odd function so not using the odd function property i will solve in this like in i will solve the whole problem don't worry okay i will solve the whole problem uh let me let me see what were the doubts okay so yeah now what will be the limit of integration we are going from y axis to in the z plus z direction so what will be the limit of integration can someone tell me can someone tell me so it will be from minus a y2 to a y2 because here this is plus a y2 this is minus a y2 so our z can vary from minus a y2 to plus a y2 now when you solve this i k i k limit this is z square over to am i making some mistake i'm like i'm feeling like i am making some mistake no it's fine so z square by 2 over to z square over 2 this is minus a by 2 to a by 2 fine so when you put limit upper limit minus lower limit it will be zero so i use the property of even function direct odd function directly because z z is a odd function so for odd function if limit from minus a to plus a or minus a by 2 to plus a by 2 it is directly zero there is no need to solve this but i solved this because you were having you people have were having doubts now again coming to the force on ab so f ab vector is is equal to i i dl vector cross b vector so i what will be the dl now now i am not making the diagram again or let me make it yeah let me make it let me copy it let me copy it and just paste it where it is yeah there it is so yeah now this is the ab wire oh let me remove this one too yeah now this, this is ab and the current is in the direction of this Okay, now again I am choosing by from the z axis to d y. My limit will be from minus a y two to a y two. So f vector a b is is equal to i, and that is d y. The direction is in current, so it will be by cap cross k z x cap. Okay, now x by z. x by z here so i and the z here is minus a by 2 this is the this is the main important like this is the main problem this is the most important this is the main problem that is the tricky part of this problem people were thinking that all the force on this loop is zero but the magnetic field in such a way that it is not zero so you don't have to like you don't have to do rote learning you have to understand the concept so d by so z is minus a by 2 so minus a by 2 will be outside because it is a constant at that point 
up, uh, like at that point so minus a by 2 and d by k will be also there so k a a by 2 minus so y cross x is minus z so d by minus z cap now what will be the limit of integration again i told you i have established the fact that in which direction we are considering infinite symbol element we will consider in consider that limit so minus a by 2 to a by 2 and minus minus that will be plus so it is i a a y 2 it will be a y 2 plus a y 2 it will be like direction will be z cap so force on a b force on a b vector is i k a square y 2 z cap and using right hand rule using right hand rule you can get the same you can get the same ab now now the remaining wire is the bc but you can think of the same like in case of ad the wire bc situation like answer will be same but let me uh, solve for your convenience this is the wire uh, bc so this is the origin and i am considering z in this direction infinite symbol element is dz so f bc will be i and dl is dz direction is z cap cross it will be not z sorry it is not v not it is k z kz x cap kz x cap so i k dz and what is the x cross what is the z cross x z cross x is minus by let me check whether i should not z cross x is z cross x is z uh, cross x x cross z cross x is y and this is minus y and in this case z cross x should be plus y yeah z cross x should be plus y z cross x should be plus y so what will what should be the limit here i am missing something yeah z is there so what should be the limit limit from limit should be from minus a by 2 to a by 2 so let me check whether this is correct or not so let me check whether it is correct or not let me check whether it is correct or not so it should be so z cross x is plus y of course this is correct but the whole answer will be correct or not so z dz yeah it looks fine it looks find the limit from minus a by 2 so you will solve when then it, it is like this so when you solve it will be 0 or you can use the property of odd function and it must be 0 now the force on whole loop force on square loop so must be due to all four wires so f a b vector plus k f b c vector plus k f c d vector plus k f d a vector f vector so f a b vector what is the f a b vector where is f a b f a b so f a b is i k square y 2 i k a square y 2 z cap 
फिर जाए बी सी ए बी सी जीरो फिर जाए एफ सी डी आई फिर एफ सी डी आई स्टार्ट फ्रॉम एफ सी डी है आई के ए स्क्वायर वाई टू जेड के प्लस जीरो सो द फाइनल आंसर इज आई के ए स्क्वायर आई के स्क्वायर एंड द जेड के नेट फोर्स विल बी नेट फोर्स विल बी इन दी जेड डायरेक्शन सो आई होप टिल नाउ ऑल दी डाउट्स यू आर हैविंग शुड बी क्लियर इफ नॉट लेट मी नो इन दी कमेंट सेक्शन Thank you